What are the problems that international students in Australia face? According to an estimate, the number of international students in Australia has crossed half a million. Australia has evolved as one of the premium locations in the world for higher education. Although it has always remained the most cherished destination for Asian students, now a significant part of the international student population is from Europe and North America too. All these students, however, face considerable challenges to get acquainted with the way of living, customs and academic life of Australia. It is a universal problem where almost all the students face challenges when they pursue their studies in a foreign land. But if you are planning to enhance your academic qualifications in Australia, the challenging issues in front of you would be very few when compared to other nations. Obviously, this is the main reason why Australia is one of the most revered choices by international students. If you are intending to move away from your home country, you will face many of the same challenges anywhere, missing family and friends, homesickness, different foods etc. If you are English speaking, there is still colloquial Australian English to master. Money-wise, you will need to think about tuition fees, universities should be very upfront about what these will be and when they will need to be paid. Cost of living is high, but capital cities are not the only choice for university study. Some universities that are based in capital cities of campuses and regional centres, plus there are some good universities that are solely based outside the capitals. This can be more attractive in terms of living costs if you are willing to go for a quieter pace of life. Universities may have accommodation colleges attached which can provide a good option for living at moderate costs without needing a car. Also, a good way of getting to meet other students, some feeling as dislocated as yourself and all learning to fit in. Public transport isn't brilliant, so if you are too far away from campus you are likely to need a car and all the expenses that brings. There's a lot to see in Australia, but it's a big country so be sure to do your research. I'm not about to say there is no racism here but it's nowhere near as bad. International students do bring in fees for the universities but with the costs involved and not a lot of government support. Universities also set entrance standards around the IELTS exams, International English Language Test System, and assistance is provided to help students further improve their language skills after they have passed this exam and arrived here. Australian governmental policy has tightened up considerably regarding student visas and possibilities for staying on in Australia at the completion of your study. That is by no means guaranteed so that they are taking our jobs talk is largely hot air. Australia is characterised by generally good climate, good standard of living, friendly people and a fair go attitude, making it a great place to strike out on your own. The main difficulties faced by international students in Australia are as follows. Sociocultural adjustment. Language. Educational expectations. Individual problems. But if you are planning to enhance your academic qualifications by studying in one of the top universities in Australia, the challenging issues in front of you would be very few when compared to other nations. Obviously, this is the main reason why Australia is one of the most revered choices by international students. Remedy. Know about the basic etiquettes. Etiquettes. Australians may generally greet with G-Day. They prefer to use first names even when first meeting occurs. This shows they are not very formal. So greetings are casual and relaxed. A simple smile and handshake along with greeting each other is enough. Australians generally use very decorated or colourful words which is quite unthinkable in other countries. Generally when you meet an Australian, you should greet with the words hello, how are you doing? If any Australian invites you to home for dinner, it is a basic courtesy that you should be carrying a bottle of wine or bouquets. Moreover, ensure that you arrive on time during dinner as it looks courteous. Offer the hostess your help while she slash she prepares food or clear up the dinner table. While negotiating for business, Australians get straight down to work with a very little small talk. Living alone. Specifically for a Middle East or Asian guy, this becomes the tough most part. Born and brought up in closed families and colonies with never-ending people and friends, the students have often complained of feeling lonely. Over the last 20 years, the proportion of people living alone increased from 9% to 12%. Joint families as in Asian context are low. 
men aged 25 to 44 years, living alone were the most likely to agree with the statement I often feel very lonely, 33%. Australia though located in the Eastern Hemisphere has a Western culture throughout the country. The students from USA and UK may feel no difference but the students from the Asian, African and other European countries can experience a culture shock. This problem gets compounded with the way the individual living has evolved in the society. Remedy When in Australia join few groups which are specifically for this purpose. There are umpteen number of student bodies where you can find people of your country or origin. More important than finding people of your origin would be to find someone who fits your friend parameters. One of the student councils where you can refer to is Many international students do not have proper access to accommodation that makes the situation worse. These students can use the accommodation guide in their quest for higher education. Most of the colleges and universities of professional international student officers who organize workshops for the international students and provide the needful resources to the international students. They offer their assistance till the students graduate from the institutions. On arrival reception, orientation, workshops and recreational activities help the foreign students to avoid culture shocks and slowly absorb the culture there. Learn the lingo. Australia has its own set of slangs and slants. Even people from UK and US find it difficult to understand at first. The only way is to make a very good Australian friend over a period of time and ask him to help on these. For knowing the basics of what Australians say and what it means you can check in internet. What students need to do? There are many students who feel a little low in the initial months. If you feel so, give yourself time. Soon you will make friends and acquaintances which will again make you feel lively and spirited. You should try to adopt the practices of the local community which will help you to feel home, even if you remain a thousand miles apart. Language. Most of the international students do not have English as their first language. Although all of them must have qualified an English proficiency test to get the Australian visa, still the Australian accent, lexical differences and the style of speech trouble them considerably. The students receive their lectures, tutorials and notes in this medium only. Some of the international students complain that the professor speak too fast or use certain idioms, terms and abbreviations with which they are not familiar. Apart from the academic need, the students need to speak strict Australian English even when they are going to buy a burger. Having to speak English all the time is itself a challenge for the international students. Learning and teaching unit of the respective college or university campus organizes special programs for the international students to make them familiar and sharpen their English language skills. The international student officers conduct these classes which are termed as language, literacy and learning or three liters. This service is formulated according to the need and demands of the students which ensure the maximum benefit and effectiveness to them. Educational Expectations The educational system in Australia varies from other countries. Australia too has its own distinctiveness which encourages autonomous learning, critical thinking, problem-solving abilities and confident communication. However, the international students coming from varied backgrounds feel a little confused in this form of learning customs. The students may be directed to work independently or in specified groups to complete their tasks and assignments. The students are required to critically evaluate every situation and present a suitable solution. Many students fail to coordinate properly and their performance deteriorates. Just like every college has international student officers, it employs academic developers too. These academic developers work with the college staff to help the international students. They help those who face difficulty in understanding the lectures in the theoretical classes. They act as a useful bridge between the international students and the professors. They talk to the students to find out their personal need and ensure that no student suffers due to educational or study shock. All the students will need some time to adjust to the new academic world. So, all the international students may expect a little more leniency in the initial months from their professors. But within this time, you should make considerable efforts to make yourself familiar with the academic system. The institutions will provide you specific norms and expectations and definitely the rationale behind each of them. So, everything will be clear from the beginning.
for climate changes, Australia exhibits sharp climatic differences even when you travel from one province to another. It is the sixth largest country in the world and the largest in the southern hemisphere. Some regions are cooler while some are hotter. You should start following the temperatures, climate and other conditions before you land in the city. For climate changes, follow the dressing style which will suit the best in those climate conditions and take all the necessary medicines along with you. All the problems and the difficulties look frightening at the first stage, but when they are addressed properly, it becomes very easy to overcome them. The challenges will remain, but your primary objective in Australia is education and good results. Overcome all these difficulties which are just temporary hitches. Remember not all get the chance to study in Australia. You have got the opportunity. Make sure you come out with the best results. Last but not the least, if any of these problems persists, take the assistance of the student counsellors. They are the best source to give you the ideal suggestion and guidance in this foreign landslide to when they face these difficulties.